Hey guys! So here in Budapest we're going into late summer, which means the produce is changing. It's getting riper, it's getting sweeter, but it's also time to say goodbye to some of our favorite fruits. And for me those are raspberries. So when I was a kid we would always go raspberry picking at a local pick-your-own farm. And I just have such great memories of hanging this bucket, this like little bucket on a string on my neck. That's how they would uh, have you do the pick-your-own. And in that, I would collect all the raspberries I could, but obviously at the end of the session of picking raspberries, I think I ate more uh, than I actually collected in this bucket. And it was many years later that I discovered a dessert called raspberry trifle when I was studying abroad in London. And uh, no matter what supermarket I would go into to buy my lunches or my prepared foods, uh, I would always find a raspberry trifle in the refrigerator section, and that became my go-to dessert. So today I want to show you my version of a raspberry trifle. It includes white chocolate, which I really like as a pairing with raspberry. It's made with a mascarpone cream blended with whipping cream to get that nice, thick, creamy, almost like a cheesecake texture. That gets layered in a glass with some cookies that I've crumbled, and also with some raspberry jam that I have right here, some homemade raspberry jam, and fresh raspberries. So this is one of those great no-bake desserts that I recommend doing at the end of summer, especially when it's really hot. You just want something nice and cold straight out of the fridge. This is perfect because there's almost no cooking involved except for melting the white chocolate. So let's get started on this raspberry trifle dessert. So to start our raspberry trifle, I'm going to melt some white chocolate. I have a bowl set over a pot of simmering water and I'm just using this really good white chocolate. This one happens to be an Italian one, but you can use your favorite brand. It doesn't really matter. And uh, white chocolate melts rather quickly, so you can kind of hang around and, and watch it go because um, if you leave it too long, it can scorch a little bit. Okay, and we are done. Now I'm going to set this aside to cool. And while this cools, I'm going to mix together the mascarpone and whipping cream. Okay, so I have this eight ounce or 250 gram container of mascarpone. And this is one of my favorite cheeses. I mean, this is the base in a tiramisu, so I think everyone loves this cheese. I'm gonna add it to my mixing bowl here. And I'm just gonna kind of mush it around to loosen it up a little bit. And uh, I'm going to use the whipping cream, which is a high fat, above 30% whipping cream. Should shake it a little bit. And this will help make it even more creamy. I'm going to add about half of it and see where I end up. And I'm gonna add my third of a cup of powdered sugar. Okay, and the rest of the whipping cream. And now I'm going to blend in the white chocolate. And I just want to give it a, 
a little taste to see. Very nice. Not too sweet. I get the hint of the white chocolate first and then the mascarpone flavor comes in afterwards. It's really, really nice. Okay. Here's if you have young children hanging around and give them the whisk to lick or do it yourself. <laughs> And now we're ready to layer the little individual raspberry trifles. So I'm gonna start by crushing up some of these cookies. Just gonna squeeze out the air. So I kind of like to keep this chunky because then you have a play on textures when you're eating the, the trifle. So you don't have to go at this with like a baseball bat. Just crumble it in a plastic bag and uh, let there be nice little chunks. And you can use your favorite cookie for this. It could be like a vanilla wafer. It could be shortbread, a really nice butter cookie like these. And I have four glasses here, but this recipe can make easily six glasses worth. So I'm gonna start with our cream as the base. Some cookie crumbs. And my homemade raspberry jam. Then you can always hide a few fresh raspberries inside. Like that. And some more of the cream. Okay, it's starting to look really nice alongside the edge. And jam. And I'm topping it off with a layer of cream. So that looks pretty good. So once these are chilled, I'm going to top them with some freshly whipped cream, a grating of white chocolate, and some fresh raspberries on top. So the trifles have been in the fridge for a couple of hours, and I'm ready to take them out. And I've got my whipped cream and the fresh raspberries. So earlier, I whipped up some heavy cream, and I didn't add any sugar to this because there's already a lot of sugar going on in here with the white chocolate and also the raspberry jam. So this is going to kind of cut through all that richness. So I'm gonna add some whipped cream to the top on both of these.
I'm also going to grate white chocolate over top. And I have this skinny little bar of white chocolate that should be pretty easy to grate. And we have these beautiful raspberries, so might as well put them to good use. I'm going to decorate the tops. Okay, so I'm ready for the taste. Okay, I gotta get into all these layers. It's like the perfect piece. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna go in again. This time I want more cookie. Ah, you see? What I really like about this is that after being in the fridge for a couple of hours, the mascarpone and white chocolate and cream mixture has firmed and become this cheesecake type texture, even like a no-bake cheesecake, which this pretty much is. And the cookies have softened too, so they add this really nice butteriness to an already rich dessert, but it's definitely worth it. I love digging through all the layers. It's like this archeological excavation. And each bite is a better and better experience. So before summer is over, when you're looking for that chilled sweet treat, this raspberry trifle is it. This combination of white chocolate, whipping cream, and mascarpone definitely comes across as a delicious cheesecake flavor. And the raspberry jam adds a really nice tartness. And then there's the fresh raspberries, of course, and that sweet, buttery cookie crumb that adds this familiarity of like a no-bake cheesecake from, from my childhood. I think you'll really enjoy making this raspberry trifle before summer ends. Let me know what you think about it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching.